this video, we'll calibrate the SkyCut's camera so we can achieve perfect results on print and cut projects, also known as contour cutting. All we need to complete this calibration is the test pen and a piece of paper on your cutting mat inserted into the SkyCut. Let's start by setting appropriate speed and force settings for the test pen. Set speed to 8 and set force to 30. If you'd like to double check that your test pen is inserted correctly, press the test button on the home screen to draw a square. If necessary, adjust the height of the test pen and retest until you're satisfied with the result. To begin the calibration process, move the pen to a clean area of the paper. Tap the Set button, then tap Camera. Tap Adjust to switch to calibration mode, and then tap Start. A test shape will be drawn, and then the camera will position itself over it and capture a photo. Our goal is to align the dashed blue lines with the cross in the test shape. We do this by moving the red cross over the center of the test shape and tapping OK. Tap the X3 button to zoom in for a closer view. To move the red cross, tap the screen or for more precise positioning, tap the arrows on the bottom of the screen. When you've positioned the red cross on the center of the shape, tap OK. The sky cut will then capture another photo. Repeat the process of positioning the cross and tapping OK until the cross stays in the correct position. Tap X3 again to zoom out, and you should see the dashed blue lines are now centered on the cross. The camera is now calibrated, and you can tap the Home button to exit. If you ever want to double check the calibration, just repeat the process. Make sure the test pen is over an empty portion of the paper, tap the Set button, tap Camera, tap Adjust, tap Start. Another shape will be drawn and an image captured. It looks like the dashed line is aligned correctly, and we can tap X3 to zoom in and check that the cross is aligned correctly as well. Looks good, so let's tap the Home button and exit out. The process of executing a print and cut project is different depending on the software you're using, so we'll explore that in other videos.